Good uh, Monday afternoon. In today's reading, we're, we'll be looking at the book of Isaiah, book 2, 6 through 9, then going to book 9, 1 through 6. For you have rejected your people, the house of Jacob, because they are full of things from east, from the east, and the fortune tellers like the Philistines, and they strike hands with the children of foreigners. Their land is filled with silver and gold, and there is no end to their treasures. Their land is filled with idols. They bow down to the work of their hands. To what their own fingers have made, so man is humbled. And each one is brought low and do not forgive them. Then we go on to nine. But there will be no gloom for her, for who is in anguish, in the former time he brought in to contempt the land of Zebulun and the land of Napatel. But in the later latter time he has made glorious the way of the sea, the land beyond the Jordan, Galilee, Galilee of the nations, the people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwell in a land in deep darkness, on them has light shone. You have multiplied the nation, you have increased its joy. They rejoice before you, as with joy at the harvest. As they are glad when they divide the spoil for the yoke of his burden, in the staff for his shoulder, the rod of his oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For every boot of the tramp, tramping warrior in the battle tumulate, and every garment rolled in blood, it will be burned as fuel for the fire. For us, for to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Have you ever known a person, whether it be family, friends, a politician, whether it be the state level or the local level, has brought, has started off doing good things, and for whatever reason has turned into something evil. I'm sure we all have known some of those people. And some of those people, A, or may not go to church, who knows. What we have to understand is that those people need our counsel, need our help. And some of those people may just well, really throw away God. It's like, okay, some and just and just completely just go 
No, if the rails are, who knows. But what they're saying, what for what Isaiah is talking about, actually, God is talking about through Isaiah. The, the Lord will bring judgment on people that, that uh, forsake him, worship other gods, stone or trees or whatever, gods that are made by human hands. Those gods can't do nothing. They will not help you. They will not worship. They will not help you in any way, shape, or form. And those people that who have forsaken God Almighty, there's still time. So you have to humble yourself. Be humble. Help others. Bring God Almighty. Accept Christ as Lord and Savior into your heart. Just like it's spoken here. From fortune tellers to foreigners of the foreign land who make idols, etc. This is in, he talks about the people that rejected the house of Jacob. And for those people who have realize their errors there is time there is hope and that's what book 9 talks about a child is born wonderful counselor mighty God everlasting father prince of peace who, who else Jesus Jesus came into this world to die for our sins to put it on his shoulder on his shoulder and that is the wonderful news. So not all is lost. At the, at the end of the days, God will weed out through angels, possibly, the good and the bad. Because no matter what you do, this bottle of water will not save you. I, I'm speaking of it as I'm not talking about drinking water, but we'll just, for, figuratively speaking, this will be our pedal. This water can't do anything. Only God Almighty can save you through Jesus Christ. So that is the wonderful news. And there will be people that, unfortunately, he talks about, being, are being pig-headed, hard-headed, whatever you want to call it, and are so stubborn that they think they can pray to this water and it will save them. And that's too bad, but you can... But through God... We will, the ones that do bring Jesus into our lives, accept him as Lord and Savior, will, will, will be seated in the, in the new earth. Wonderful news. I'm just a layman, just an average Joe. I'm not trained in theology or any stretch of the imagination. And these readings had, had come from the from uh, the English Standard Version by Crossway, and they and they do they do have, they have wonderful courses. So so check them out. And I believe where is it? It's Crossway.org. I'll put their information in the description below. God bless and. There's still time and 
except Jesus Christ and the Lord and Savior.